Hello, thank you for having me. Um, I'm here to talk about the Great Lakes where I live and water. Uh, water is the foundation for all life on this planet. So as human beings, we need water to survive. And as social creatures, we need the places that water creates. Those are the beaches and the, the, the parkland, the ravines, the open lakes. Those are the spaces where we connect with nature, where we spend time with our friends and our family and the places that help to keep us well. Our relationship to water reveals a lot about our cultures and our societies. It tells us you know, who has access, uh, who gets to enjoy nature, where is water protected, where is it polluted. So when we study and learn about water, we also study and learn about ourselves. I'm in Toronto, as are many of you, and the water here is Lake Ontario, part of the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes uh, are five big lakes, basically giant puddles formed by melting glaciers more than 10,000 years ago. Water flows from Lake Superior in the north, down through Huron and Michigan, uh, through Lake Erie in Ontario, and then out the St. Lawrence River to the salty Atlantic Ocean. All this glacier water is a one-time gift. So are we people who appreciate this gift and protect it? I think we should be. Every minute of your day-to-day -day was shaped by Lake Ontario. If you're in Toronto, if you're somewhere else, the same thing is true of your local water body. That water body, in my case, Lake Ontario, it quenched your thirst, it washed your hands, it grew your food, it powered the electronics that are in your home. If you're here in Toronto, 65% of your body is Lake Ontario. Lake Ontario sometimes has a reputation for being polluted. It's true that sewage and other problems affect water quality, but that's not what defines the lake. The lake is alive. It is full of fish and wildlife, including sturgeon that can grow to be seven feet long and a hundred years old. They don't want to eat plastic or swim in your medicine. We need to be careful about what we put down the drain and we need to advocate for proper sewage treatment. But the best thing you could do to help the Great Lakes and any water body is to forge your own connection with the water, to go outside, experience the lake, love it so that you can protect it. And if you're nervous about going to a beach or a park for the first time, just remember that everyone is connected to water. It's the reason we're alive. You have every right to enjoy nature. And in fact, sunshine and fresh air, the sound of water, they make your brain happy. It's not a luxury, it's science. When you're familiar with your local creek or lake, you'll have a much better appreciation for its importance and you will be better equipped to make sure that it is protected. If you don't know where to start, don't worry. Uh, visit the website, Great Lakes Guide. It's greatlakes.guide. Uh, it has a ton of advice for first time explorers. It also has up-to-date information about which parks and beaches are open and how you can stay safe during the COVID-19 pandemic. If you have any questions at all, just let me know during the Q&A or uh, follow me and uh, Swim Drink Fish on social media channels. We are at Swim Drink Fish. Thank you.